Uh, so as I said again, I'm Peter Zonwashira, I'm the National Chair for Kenya Union of Clinical Officers. And we are here today to give a strike notice uh, because of some concerns that have not been addressed. And so I read. Uh, so we wish to express our displeasure and discontent on the manner in which the employers, that is the 47 counties and national government collectively as the employers, have continuously and deliberately mishandled our collective bargaining agreement, diploma internship pay, a scheme of service and promotions. We wish to inform our members and the public that our right to fair labor practices, right to fair remuneration, reasonable working conditions and collective bargaining under Article 41 of the Constitution continue to be contravened with impunity by the employers. Despite extra budgetary allocation to the Ministry of Health on the Presidential Internship Program and the fact that all other interns in the Ministry of Health are paid except our Diploma Clinic Officer interns the ministry has remained non-committal on the payment of stipend and the union fears that there are ill-intentioned and deliberate efforts to deny our interns of this entitlement under the PSC internship uh, policy. It's inhuman for any young Kenyan to be subjected to unpaid internship for one year without considering how they cater for their basic needs. It is worse when they are denied despite availability of the same funds that can be used to cater for them. Some of our members, and especially in the Ministry of Health, have stagnated in one job group for over 10 years, despite professional and academic advancements. This is also the case with the uh, redesignation. It goes against fair labor practices as provided for uh, in Article 41 of the Constitution of Kenya and the policies provided by Public Service Commission and leaves officers who offer services for the government demotivated and demoralized. In our negotiations in 2017, we agreed that one of the deliverables would be revision of our scheme of service to suit the scope provided by the new Act of Parliament, the nature of training, and the scope of practice. The scheme was finalized by the mandated parties, being the Ministry of Health, Public Service Commission, Council of Governors, and the Union, but is yet to be ratified a year and a half since its completion. We have followed up and uh, we have found that actually the scheme is still lying in the principal secretary's office for more than one year. On 16 May 2019, after failure of negotiations for the second time, negotiations for the CBA, we wrote to the cabinet secretary Labour as provided for in the Labor Relations Act, informing him of the labor dispute as provided for in Labor Relations Act, but we have received no response five months after. Being that uh, the Labor Relations Act provides that once a union registers a dispute with the Minister for Labor, they are supposed to constitute a conciliation committee within 21 days. Then this, therefore, means that conciliation has failed and therefore leaves the union with no option but to resort to industry action. We have served a notice to the Ministry of Labor and Employers as provided in the Labor Relations Act this morning and therefore we wish to inform the employers our members and public, that our members will strike as from the first day of November 2019 if the below listed demands are not honored by then. The demands include 
The collective bargaining agreement must be signed and registered in court. All pending promotions and redesignations must be effected and arrears for the same paid. All diploma interns must be paid. And the scheme of service uh, must also be ratified. 